Yesterday, uh, he directed a uh, commercial uh, that, that, I, that I'm going to be in, and I was like, that is super cool that the Instituto Cervantes hired Calvin Evans to direct the commercial, and the shit's going to be hot. And one of the people that are in the, was in the commercial, she's right there, our local Chicago actress, Alma Yaralis is right there. Stand up, Alma, say hi. Say hey. So, really, really cool. Anyway, Chicago, Dominicano, don't talk Dominicano. Don't talk gente, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk gente, don't talk gente. That's it. Santo Domingo in the house. We're so glad you're here. This show is for you, mi gente, with a lot of Chicago love. Welcome to the stage. The talented, talented Manny Agosta que se oiga. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're thinking. That's one good looking guy on stage. You're right. It's true. I have a girlfriend, though. Sorry, fellas. My bad. Uh, we've been together for three years. A little over three years. She gets mad when I don't get it right. Um, and it's not that I want you guys to know I have a girlfriend. But she's Puerto Rican, so she makes me say it every time I get on stage. <laughs> it keeps the hoes away. <laughs> is what I was told. <laughs> and then I was like, but baby, if they're hoes, it kind of doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> so now she's in the back corner. Hi, baby, how you doing? Um, yeah, three years is a very long time for me. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> For me, I said. <laughs> Whore. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> so, in three years, in three years, you start learning so much about people, right? So much. Start doing different things. Um, for a while, Getting to know each other was kind of a, a, a hard test because I'm very sarcastic. And for some people, they think that I'm just mean, you know, because they don't understand it. But it's very, it's very good to find a girl who understands that stuff. She has all the qualities guys would like in a woman, right? She's beautiful, she's smart, she's allergic to latex. That's right. No balloons for her at all. You guys are disgusting, because I knew exactly what you guys were thinking. <laughs> but the cool thing is that she's sarcastic as well, so it's easy to kind of get along. Um, sometimes she takes it a little too far, though. Just sometimes. Uh, for about four months, she let me walk around telling people that I had a fupa, right? For the, like, the three people who know what that is. Everyone else, let me explain to you. I was at work one day, and this girl grabbed my gut, right? She's like, oh my god, you have a fupa. And I was like, okay, she would know I have a fupa. So I walk around telling people all the time, oh my God, I just ate my fupa, got so much bigger. Oh my God, it didn't work out. My fupa's gonna explode. Uh, fupa stands for fed up or pussy area. So I was telling people, my fat up her pussy. <laughs> it's about to explode. I, I was wondering where I got so many looks. Um, but it, it, it's, it's crazy though. Being in a relationship for three years, you start doing things that you didn't do three years ago. You start not doing stuff that you did three years ago. You know, shaving legs. Um, one of the things that we haven't done yet, you know, we burped in front of each other, which is kind of cute sometimes. <laughs> right, kind of cute. Because some women, I don't know why, think, <laughs> No, 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 bitch. That's not cute. Go to the doctor with your gassy ass. We haven't farted. 
we haven't farted in front of each other yet. And it's, and it's harder for guys because women, I don't. Oh, that's no, fine, you got the joke late. It, it, takes, it takes a little bit. She hasn't farted in front of me yet, and I haven't farted either, and I'm not gonna fart until she farts. But for a guy, it's much more difficult. We get the bubble guts a lot easier. So, and, and having to hold that in, right? So I'm a gentleman, always been. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. I, I open the doors for her everywhere we go, everywhere. My favorite door to open, the car door. Hey, baby, there you go. What's that? You're so beautiful. Baby, you okay? Yo, I'm good, I'm good, baby. I'm checking the tire. We all good, we good to go, we good to go. Yeah. Let's go. We get into arguments, not too many, not too many, which I like. One of the arguments, you know, we get, the thing is, you need communication in any relationship. That's one of the biggest things that you need because the, the biggest issue with communication, men don't want to talk, women won't shut the fuck up. And, <laughs> It keeps piling on each other, right? So what happens is, one, we got into a fight the other day. Stupidest fight I ever got into in my life, right? She got mad at me. We argued about my man cave. She's like, you know, when we get a house, how are we, how are we gonna do this? We're just talking about that, talking about our future. I was like, well, I'm gonna get the basement, it's my man cave. And she's like, oh, that's nice. I was just gonna have a door that you can't get in, right? You need a code to get into the door. And she's like, well, why can't I get in? I was like, cause you don't need to be in there. It's a man cave, it's a man cave. And she's like, well, what if I gotta get in? I was like, what do you gotta get in there for? She's like, I just, what if I just wanna get in there? I was just like, you don't gotta get in there. If I'm home, we'll go inside, don't worry about it. She started, ma she getting mad at me. She said I wasn't gonna give her the code. She said she wouldn't wanna get married with me. We're arguing about a house I don't have yet. <laughs> the other thing we kind of have a little difference of opinion on is, is children. And that's only because I work in retail. Now, I work at a store that legally I can't say the name of, but I wear blue shirts. And if you go there, it may be the best buy you've ever done. <laughs> and not only do we get a lot of stupid people in there, just like really stupid, because I had this guy come in the other day and he's just like, hey, do you guys carry uh, 70 inch TVs? I was like, yeah, but then they get heavy, so we gotta put them down. He's like, what? He's like, nothing stupid. Just, I wasn't gonna keep on talking shit about kids, but they lit me, so I have one joke. So I can kind of continue this. Um, since we're all Hispanic, I assume we all know or have been or know someone in Florida. Yes? Okay. Grandparents, somebody. It's God's waiting room. So I go to Florida last year, First time I've ever been there. And I get on a jet ski. Has anybody here been on a jet ski before? Yes. That's more people than I thought would get on a jet ski. A lot of Mexicans ride the swim. Huh. It's okay, don't worry about it, it's gonna get worse. So, I'm on this jet ski and I'm having the time of my life. The time of my life. Mm just zooming through the water, right? And all of a sudden, mm, whoop, whoop. Mm, whoop, whoop, whoop. Pull your vehicle over. And like to fucking what? I turn around and there's this big ass cop boat behind me. I'm about this far and he's just like, sir, bring your vehicle here. This is my first time on a jet ski. It takes like 20 minutes to get... Mm, shit, 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 shit. I got it, I got it. Mm, 
Give me your head. Give me your head. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I finally get there, right? And we start having this conversation. And real, this is incredibly stupid and very hard to have a conversation when both of you guys are going like this. He's like, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Uh, you, you thought I was Cuban? <laughs> Sir, do you know you're speeding in a manatee zone? I was like, I don't know what a manatee is. He's like, do you at least know how fast you were going? I was like, I'm in fucking water. I have no idea how fast I was going. <laughs> so I was in a manatee zone real quick. Manatees, little stupid seal at the bottom of the ocean. They get attracted to surface noise. So it floats up, and if a boat's there, boom! Smacks it in the face and it dies, right? So stupid. So I'm having a conversation with this guy, and he starts explaining that to me, and I was just like, yeah, but uh... Now let's say we were manatee boys, right? It's, it's me, you, and, and, our, and our buddy manatee, right? And then we, one day we see him go up there and get killed by the boat. I ain't gonna do it. And he wasn't having it, he was just like... <laughs> and there was a cool ass black cop behind him, he was just like... <laughs> so we're gone, and he's just like... Starts asking me all these stupid questions because I insulted his stupid manatee. He's like, sir, do you have a whistle? And I was like, for what? And he's like, well, uh, if your craft stops working, what are you gonna do? And I was like, um, I'm Hispanic, bro. <laughs> She'll swim from Chicago and fucking come get me. <laughs> Sir, well, uh, if your craft, do, do you have a fire extinguisher? I was just like, for what? <laughs> well, if your craft catches on fire, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Flip it over, stupid. My name is Manny Acosta. You guys have been amazing. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Manny Acosta, que soy mi gente. Manny Acosta. Santo Domingo. Okay, now there's like 12 of you. I'm feeling a little better about this production, but uh, Santo Domingo in the house. We're so glad you guys are here. Listen, really quick. How about a big round of applause for all the staff here at Joe's, making sure everything's running smoothly. Uh, we are excited to have you here. It's a kickoff show, and we got a great 2016 happening for you. Anybody here from New York City right now? New York has family in New York City. All right, we're in New York City the last two weeks of uh, 